there's one. See them? They look just like that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I like the gray fluffy one right there. Oh, look how pretty. No. But yeah, look at that. You bought a fish? I did. You got a... What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here today. As you all know, I moved all the tanks into this room right here with the fan art all around it. You can see all the fan art surrounding it. We got Daniel here. What's up, bud? Hey, what up? <laughs> They're so freaking cute. Look at them. You're licking it. You're licking my finger. And then you got Pocket right there. Pocket's hiding in that little thing. Our flower horns are now in here as well. Mentioned it last video. I did a water change to get these tanks. Obviously, I had to do it myself so they couldn't be that heavy. I took a lot of the water out and just moved these tanks in here. When I filled it back up, the well water actually almost ended up killing the flower horns. They made it, thankfully, by the morning. These guys made it, which I am so grateful for because they're beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning fish. But this tank, the axolotls, unfortunately didn't make it because of the warm water, is what I'm guessing. The well water was warm, it went in, and it wasn't cold enough. They like very cold water. They actually prefer 60 to 64 degrees, you know? It's gotta be pretty cold. Cooler than room temp, so this, this right here is just that freezing but not like you know what i mean not that not too cold it's what i've always kept it for the other ones it's back to that temp unfortunately you know things happen you always learn from your mistakes it's not going to happen again it just sucks because you know i love i love the axolotls they're a big part of the channel the videos got a lot of views that we did on them and today i'm here to make another video on getting an axolotl because we need another one it's part of the channel they're awesome awesome creatures so if you're just excited as i am make sure you drop a like down below let's see if we can get 15 000 likes on this video and you know what if we hit 20,000, maybe I'll do a giveaway. So drop a like down below. Yeah, 20,000, I will do a giveaway. I don't know what the giveaway will be, but I'll do one. Let's go to the pet store and get an axolotl. And I'm sure you know, you know me. We're gonna leave with more than just that. Again, we're here for the seventh time today. It's like deja vu, it's just here. Yeah, these are a lot better. Put a nice grill through it, you know? And there's one. See them? They look just like that. Exactly what we need. And then, oh. There's two. Perfect. Nice. Oh, three. We need three. And there's three. You already know. We have to go check out everything. Uh -huh. Look at them. Look at how cute he is. Oh. Turtles. Oh, look how pretty that one is in the back. See his head? All right, how long will it take you to find this chameleon? Yeah. I got it, I got it, okay. Uh, I'm looking for it too. God, I oh, I see it. Where? It's... <laughs> There's none in there. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I want this so bad, because I love modern stuff, and this is like so modern. Look at those things. Oh yeah. And you know, I always gotta show the salt water stuff because I love it. One day I'm gonna have a big salt water tank. I know I had a small one in the past, gave it to Nick. He had a lot more ideas with it than I did and honestly, I'm a freshwater guy, but one day I will have a giant salt water tank. It's just very pricey, you know, but one day I'll be able to come and get any of these fish that I want. Some of these fish are just so vibrant in color. Look at that. Oh, panther. A little emperor. And for a snapper, all the freshwater fish. We've been down this aisle. I'm sure they got new stuff. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? That is, uh, you know what's weird? In Rhoda, in the Marianas Islands, I know some of you watching are from like Guam and stuff. What up, fam? That place was awesome. And we actually, we, we caught those to eat when we were on the islands out there. It's the craziest thing ever, but we were catching wow. them in a creek. And it is so, that just brings back instant memories. More salt water. And look what we got over here. Axolotls. These are big old axolotls. Holy moly. That thing is huge. And there's a massive snail with them. So these are these are different. These aren't albino. Look how soon this tank is. It's like low. I guess it's really for coral, I'm guessing. Because look how low it is. You can keep the water like right there, rimless. Imagine having fish in this thing. Oh my God, like colorful. Look how sick this tank is. Like imagine so like, low. you know what I mean? I love so that. Sick. How many gallons is this? 210, 210. He can go swimming in that one. Literally. Oh, I like the gray fluffy one right there. <laughs> 
Hey, Dad, yeah, I thought you doing? So cute. The little white one is What's cute. Going on? Where they at, though? I know they're here. Oh, of course, they are out of the biggest one. But they do have this one, so I can get this for now at least. Also, this small one for the little axolotl tank. That is the coolest live plant I've ever seen. I like those two. All right, we have to get one of these. I like the bigger one, I like this guy. See, I thought they were smaller so we can get both of them, but these are big axolotls and the tank is only so big, I think it's like 25 gallons, so we don't want to get both of them. Yeah, that big old one right there. And then I'll do some black worm too. Uh, five scoops, please. These are living worms. I've showed you guys this stuff before, but look at them. Oh, look how pretty. No. Got ourselves another one. We got two magnets, gotta get some rat food and an axolotl. Alright, black worm, food, axolotl, magnets. One more thing. Gotta load up on blood worms there for our flower horns and obviously some other things that are around the house. Perfect. And two things for these. Alright. We got all the stuff we need. It's heavy. There's a lot of water in this sucker. We'll see you at home. All right. Ugh. We have, I love going to the store and getting stuff. Yeah. These worms try crawling out of this thing every time I buy them, but my fish love them. All right, we got two magnets, blood worms, and of course, our axolotl. Look how big this thing is. It's a beast. It's an absolute hoss of an axolotl, massive. I'm so excited to get it in. Of course, what we need to do first is acclimate it, so. That's my camera. But yeah, did look you, at that. You bought a fish? I did. You got a, oh! I got a fish too. Sweet. Yeah, Yeah, I didn't know you got a fish, because I got a fish too. Axolotl. It's kind of not cool that you copied my. You copied my idea. Mm -mm, because yeah. I, uh, I came to the house first. The blood worms go in the freezer. Black worms, stay on the counter. Ecosphere. Hello. We made a dope video on this thing, explaining all sorts of it. Look at the little shrimp. See him? Yeah. I've needed these for so long. That's for the axolotl tank. Now for the flower horn tank. Ow! Cut my finger. <laughs> Not that bad. All right. Oh! oh there you go. <laughs> okay, that hurts. You gotta keep your finger like right there. Oh! <laughs> Good to go. Ooh! Clutch! I need to get sponsored by them. Yeah, that'd be a good brand. Hit me up. Yep. Alrighty, fellas. We have just taken this beautiful axolotl out. Look at it. Look at that absolute beast. That's a beast. Mine were babies compared to this thing. I'm gonna get a net. We're gonna get a good look at this sucker. We have to see him still in the water. Gonna lift him out. Shiver me timbers. That's just insane. All right, let's get him in the tank. He's so adorable. Remember, my hands are moisture. And this water is cold. Boom. It went blurry. It was blurry when I released it. Gosh darn it. There it is. The new axe, it's hanging onto our anchor. Look at that sucker. Massive. I'm gonna put the white light on. Yeah. So it actually has two hides, one right there. One right there. It has some minnow friends, as you can see, some minnows. You can see a couple of the minnows. But yeah, this water is cold. I wish I had like a thermometer. That's how I've always kept it for the other ones, but I guess when I did the water change, it actually made it warm, which caused what happened. Oh my gosh, though, look how big that thing is. So sick. I'm gonna give it a little bit to settle into this aquarium, and then I'm gonna come back and show it when it's like, you know, walking around. It's the best when they get comfortable and they kind of know their surroundings. Right now, it's probably pretty confused. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Look at that. Look at the craw just go crazy on these things. The is eating them. Everything's eating them. Oh my gosh, dude, he's literally going nuts. In about 30 minutes, all these worms will crawl through the gravel and just live in here, and the quarries will find them naturally. That's the coolest part about feeding Live black worm. And I keep the rest up here, you know, with some water. They don't last too long, but they last long enough that these fish will just go crazy. Here comes another crawl, coming in hot. He found the pile, boom, found the pile. Isn't that just insane? Pinching them left and right, grabbing them, pulling them to them. And that's how these fish eat. Even the little tetras up top get into them sometimes. He's gonna, he's gonna wreck them. The moment he sees, he sends some more open. Ooh, got him. Live 
black worms, one of their favorites. There's little like leeches in there too that they eat that come with the black worms. Ready? BAM! <laughs> and those black worms, once again, will go into the gravel and they'll literally live in this tank when they come up and stuff. They'll eat them naturally, but you know. Oh my gosh, is that just the coolest thing ever? The drone batteries are charging. Look forward to some drone footage. Because I just got a drone and I'm stoked about it. I know it's, it's like one of the Mavic Minis, but I'm excited for it because I never do drone stuff. So drone footage coming soon. Okay, back to the axolotl talk. Look at this thing. It's the next day, by the way. Chilling right there. It's a beautiful axolotl. Like, look at those. Look at how vibrant. Look at that. Thing is a beast. I know I keep saying, I keep saying it because it's true. It's an absolute hoss. It's got this whole tank to himself. And I'm excited to welcome him to the family. You know what we do every single time we get something new? Drop a comment down below what you think we should name this axolotl. Maybe something along the lines of it being such a beast, a big, big axolotl. I know they get bigger than that, I'm just saying I've never owned one that big. So yeah, drop some comments down below. Oh, uh, today's part of the comment shout out is going to go out to... And other than just the comment today, congratulations to you, but I did a surprise last video. In the beginning of the video, I told you guys to watch the end, and in the outro, I said that I'm going to FaceTime some winners that DM me on Instagram. I FaceTimed some winners. I am going to just, I screen recorded like one of them. I FaceTimed like three or four or five of you. It was so cool talking to you guys from England, from uh, South Africa, from Israel. Roll the clip of me talking to my homie. Thank you so much guys that did watch the end of my 39 minute episode yesterday. That was the little surprise I gave you guys. I wish I could FaceTime every single one of you. Maybe I'll do a couple more. So go to my Instagram at Paul Cafaro and just shoot me DM, comment on my recent posts. Make sure you're subscribed if you are new. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.